Hey guys, Rick Queen here, and now LEGO has officially released the LEGO Star Wars Rogue One pictures. I tried to show these to you guys um, a couple of weeks ago, and LEGO did not like that, so I had to take that video down. But now they're officially released, and I can show you the awesome new sets uh, that are coming out, I think you know, they should be coming out this year. The movie comes out the end of this year. Um, I'm really excited about these sets. I think they look awesome. This one's called the TIE Striker. Uh, I think it looks really, really cool. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm really looking forward to Rogue One. Um, I don't know a whole lot about it. I mean, we have seen um, a trailer or maybe two I don't know, um, but I think it looks really cool. Uh, now that we've seen the Legos uh, for it, or the Lego sets for it, and also they've released pictures of some of the other toys, so we kind of maybe have a little bit of an idea of, of some of the stuff that we're gonna see. Um, and I'm pretty excited. I think it's gonna be pretty awesome. And uh, the sets, I think, look pretty cool. Um, some of them aren't as awesome as others, um, of course, you know, we all have our favorite sets and everything, um, but I think they're all pretty good. Um, and the next set after, I think it's the next one after this, uh, in my little lineup here, uh, let's see. Yes, this is the one that I am probably most excited about. It's called Krennix Imperial Shuttle. And I, for one, think this looks like a really, really awesome set. Um, I'm just really excited to see more. I wanna see the movie really, really bad and learn about this guy Krennic uh, because apparently he's going to be uh, pretty rough and then here's um, kind of the I think supposed to be the female lead uh, Jen Erso or Erso I, I don't know how they pronounce it anyway um, but it does look awesome we have you know some buildable figures here uh, this is the buildable figure of her um, I don't know not I know not everybody likes the buildable figures I kind of like them just for mostly for the head pieces to be honest uh, but they are pretty cool um, I mean they're not really you know like a normal Lego set uh, I think it's more for people that are like fans of Bionicle and Technic type sets uh, but I still think they're pretty awesome and one thing I love about them uh, is that they don't tend to have stickers mostly uh, everything is just printed on those uh, which is really cool, and they make those specialized headpieces for them, which is really, really awesome, at least in my opinion. Uh, but let me know your thoughts about all of these new Rogue One sets that we're going to be getting later this year. Let me know which ones you guys are most looking forward to, or if there's any that you're disappointed in. Let me know that too. And I will see you guys later. Click the picture to see another video, or click the question mark to see a mystery video.